Liverpool are preparing an offer for Federico Chiesa. Anfield side are considering signing Chiesa ahead of next season. Liverpool are reportedly preparing a bid for Juventus winger Federico Chiesa. Because Jurgen Klopp wants to add a deep power to his attack. According to reports in Italy, Liverpool are set to offer 40 million euros for Chiesa this summer as Juventus are willing to sell the player. The Serie A side reportedly valued the winger at around 60 million euros. For its player whose contract expires in 2025, Juventus prefer to get a wage that matches their valuation this summer rather than wait 12 months and be in a weaker position to negotiate. However, Liverpool could face stiff competition as Chelsea and Bayern Munich are touted for a move. Paris Saint-Germain, who watched him for several games last year, is also keen, according to the report. Anfield's main priority is definitely to strengthen their midfield options. Especially with the departures of James Milner, Naby Keita and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, there are huge gaps that need to be filled. Alexis McAllister joined the team a few weeks ago. But there will definitely be more work to come in the coming weeks, and a move should perhaps be out of the question for Chiesa, despite the Reds' many left-wingers, including Luis Diaz and Diogo Hotter. However, Chiesa can easily work in the front three, playing right wing and midfield. And that could be a huge bonus for Klopp, especially if the Italian can find the form he displayed before suffering a painful knee injury in January 2022. Indeed, in the last time Chiesa played a full season without injury in the period 2020-2021, the Italy national player scored 14 goals and provided 10 assists. He showed how dangerous he is from a wide position with a consistent game run under his belt. The 25-year-old not only scored nine Serie A goals, but also managed to average 1.5 key passes per game. He created an astonishing 18 big chances for his teammates. At that time, he ranked fourth in the league with this statistic. Having played for the national team 41 times, the Dynamo also played an integral role in Italy's Euro 2020 victory two years ago. He scored twice in seven matches, including against Spain in the semi-finals. It's pretty obvious why Klopp tried to lure Chiesa to Anfield before he was hunted by another side, with former Italian goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon suggesting he was unstoppable. Now, the Reds' interest is heating up, according to a report by Gazzetta dello Sport. The side not only fulfills the players' demands for a huge fee of €8 million Euros per year, but is also preparing to make a concrete offer for its services next week. He even stated that Jurgen Klopp was a big fan of the movement and was a big sponsor for the deal. They made big maneuvers with the players' manager, so things are already happening behind the scenes as it seems. Football journalist Josh Bunting noted that Chiesa has made a real difference and has been one of the most exciting players around for a while. Also, former striker Antonio Di Notale praised the player as a huge fan and his unpredictability at the forward end. If Chiesa can get back in full form and play regularly again, he could be a real asset to any club. And it seems that the closest club to signing him might just be Liverpool. Chiesa could be a really good alternative with Mohamed Salah getting older and getting a big offer in Saudi Arabia. Klopp is following Arda Gala. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp is currently watching young sensation Arda Gala before making a potential move in the summer transfer window. According to information obtained from Spanish sources, it is believed that Liverpool is following Fenerbahce's young player, as well as European heavyweights such as Milan, Benfica and Real Madrid. Klopp wants to strengthen his midfield options ahead of next season. His contract only includes a 17.5 million euro release clause and this could be a great bargain for Anfield if they continue and trigger it. Just 18 years old, the young jewel won the Turkish Cup with her team this season. He shone against Istanbul Basaksehir in the final and eventually recorded an assist in a 2-0 win, marking the culmination of a stunning breakthrough season. He achieved an average SOFA score rating of 7.5 in 20 games in the Super League. He has contributed seven goals directly to the score this season, with four goals and three assists. He also showcased his creative abilities by producing seven big chances and making two key passes per game. Indeed, his influence on the team was key to their success as he placed first for overall rating and key passes per game, 
second for great chances created, and third for successful per game dribbles throughout the squad, showing excellent maturity for someone so young. Guller could become one of Europe's brightest stars as Klopp is keen to add more talent to his midfield following the departures of Naby Keita, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and James Milner. Another feature that might catch the German manager's attention is his versatility. Because while Fenerbahce's first player can act as either an offensive midfielder or a right winger, he can go a little deeper if necessary, giving Klopp many options if he signs him. Praised by Duncan Castles, serious talent gained international recognition. He even took part in four matches for Turkey, scoring his first goal for his country against Wales in the last European Championship qualifiers. The Anfield side are looking to do whatever they can to lure the prospect into Liverpool. Because according to Italian legend Andrea Perlo, he has no limits and the potential to play anywhere in the world. For a fee of just £15 million, he could truly become a serious talent for Klopp over the next few seasons. Liverpool's potential big offer for big talent has been confirmed by the defender's manager with a clear plan. Lex defender Patrick Dorgu's manager confirms Liverpool are interested in the young man. Earlier this week, reports suggested Dorgu was on Liverpool's radar. The left-back still plays for Lex at the under-19 level. Liverpool scouts allegedly watched Dorgu several times. Kingsley Obodo, who now serves as Dorgu's manager, has confirmed Liverpool's long-standing interest in the centre-back. Obodo suggested that the 18-year-old should reject any lucrative Liverpool offer for now. Liverpool wants him, Dorgu's manager confirmed. Liverpool have been watching and taking care of him for a while, but if he gets there he will have to play for the U23 team. It's not the best for him, so I advise him not to do it. They might offer him a lot of money, but that's not what we're looking for right now. We're focusing on his career, development and playtime. Liverpool is of course not the only club that wants him. There are many clubs in England that are keeping an eye on him. Manchester City kept an eye on him when he played against England for the U19 national team in Hobro, Denmark. Lex Scout told me that Barcelona are also keeping an eye on Patrick, because he is such a great talent, he said. Obviously, there are high hopes for Dorgu's career. Liverpool may want to get him as much as possible before he advances to the top level and his value rises. Dorgu could be aiming for his first senior game in the next two years for Lex, who finished 16th in Serie A this season. By 2025, Liverpool's current left-back Andy Robertson will be in his 30s and will only have one year left on his contract. His assistant, Kostas Tsimikas, will reach the end of his own contract at Anfield that year. It makes sense that Liverpool are already making plans for the future.